Hello everybody, my name is Verax and welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind with me, Rast, and Tatra. We're here gazing over to this uh, Dunma Fortress right now. Um, the plan being is that we, well Rast thinks that this may be the, what's it called, the Air, the Arabinisum camp. Which we need to find um, because they know where the uh, latest mark is for the Morag Tong Westline, which we're following. Um, but this might even be that camp for all for all we know. For all we know, um, I have done a bit of uh, inventory sorting and stuff between this episode and last. So a bit of time is passing stuff. It is now morning and uh, Rast is well rested and just um, ready to start his new adventure. The last time we uh, discovered one of these fortresses, it was full of slaver. It was full of the uh, the commoner tongue. And uh, so we can maybe assume that these guys might be hostile, but I think Rast may have completely forgotten about that. And um, so we're just going to blunder in there and ask for directions. So there's a person. He's on his own. We're just going to go and <laughs> wander up to him and uh, say hi. Is there something you need? And he's going to say that, which is unexpected. Uh, hi. Um, what's your trade? You're a barbarian. I'm proud of it. You like the wilderness. You're in the right place for that. Okay, you belong to House Redoran. So you're not hostile? Dark-skinned, red-eyed, elven people of Morrowind. Okay. So, the important thing here, of course, is... Do you like Tatra? And you do. So he's not hostile. Latest rumors, sorry, I have no gossip. Sun's dusk just seems quiet after frostfall with all that i've heard um happening recently a little quiet will be a welcome relief all right so it seems like that's all we need to do and then he will tell us you're in the wrong place entirely you need to go that way across here you need to go in that direction so that is the direction the rest will head he'll go straight across here and that's what we'll do we'll just go straight across to there. But we no, that's not. I was thinking maybe we could use the scroll of Icar and Flight to uh to zoom over there. But let's let's not. Let's not uh let's not push it. We'll just fly right over it. Uh and he'll say, you know, it's like a half a day's travel or whatever, which is quite subjective depending on how you how fast you move. Um will give us some indication. So we're going to find it this episode. We are absolutely going to find it. I don't mind you guys attacking me because you have this, which gives us feather. And telekinesis as well, so. Did make a couple of more feather tokens. So, uh, tokens? Potions. So we should be fine for a while with that. So we're just going to beeline it straight across here. Uh, with no distractions, right, Rast? No distractions. Uh, all right, there's something right. There's a fort. What the hell? Where does that come from? Why is there a fort? What on earth is this? So the only other um, fort that I found that I didn't expect was uh was was part of a mod and um what the yeah levitate where the hell's okay there you are uh, i had a very interesting dungeon inside it so you remember how i said like three seconds ago no distractions i am very distracted by this what on earth is this what is this? What is this? It looks very similar to the other one. It's very, very similar to the one. Alright, you stay here. Okay. 
Alright, fine. But we know what skeletons aren't gonna be aren't gonna be friendly. Well, it's just like a random freaking bot. Okay, fine. Hang on. Okay, I was I was thinking that they weren't hostile then. <laughs> But they are. Of course they are. Alright, let's uh, get something a bit beefier to deal with these guys. Since there's a lot of them. Oh, and I don't want to die. I really don't want to die because I haven't saved since I started the video. Uh, I'll do restore fatigue and we'll do resist fire. Uh, restore health. Just a normal restore health. One down. Oh, two. Killed one accidentally. That's good. Okay, so we found an abandoned Imperial fort. Whoa! Completely unexpected. There's an archer somewhere. Not really sure where it is. There you are. Nice. Like peddling archers. <laughs> this fort's been abandoned a hell of a long time because, you know, they wouldn't have this going right in the middle here. So you go. Oh boy. Oh wow, look at that. I wonder if that was done while that guy was still alive. The modder had a twisted. Was just twisted, basically. <laughs> Coming up with that. Um, yeah, so this place had a well um, and a smithy. Yeah, it all works how it kind of would, and they were probably defending against something. With all these um, ballista and stuff everywhere. So it looks like it's a note that I can't read. Well, we can read a little bit now. Maybe we can make out a little, a little bit of a uh, bit. Um, we'll have a little look around first. I don't think. I don't think this will be anything. Can we get up there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we could. Um, We could levitate over there, but I highly doubt it'll be anything. I mean, we should check that later. All right, let's see if we can make out a couple of words of this old note. Maybe, like, clean. But no, I don't think we know anything about that. But, um... All right, let's go in. Let's go in. Obviously, we're, um... A sneak. We're gonna we're gonna get our, our ultra sneak on. It's weird. I had a, I had a I had a plan for this video. I had a plan, and I said, right, okay, this is what we're doing. And I told you guys, this is what we're doing. No distractions. And then three seconds later, there's a lich right there. We know they're not friendly. So we'll send him away. Deal with his... We'll let him recover his AI. Okay, the critical damage is, is freaking awesome when it works. Right, we'll, let him, we'll let him sort of like run away and then he can come back and try and kill us. Up a dagger. Yeah, he was doing all sorts of random stuff with this dude. I'm gonna take them. <laughs> um, a human heart, human flesh, human eye. Take that just for the hell of it, right? So I'm. 
hoping that the lich will um, recover. Oh, I just need to get this back. Still can get a bit of a fight out of him. I got a bit of a bit of an advantage there with my stick attack, and he's obviously like probably vanished or whatever. Yeah, and now he's going to um, recover as you as you would and uh, fight this trespasser. We are going to buff against an enemy, so we need Reflect. Plus one of them. And we'll get some Fortify Strength as well. Oh, he's recovered his... Well, that makes sense. Okay. That's all fine. Look at all this. Alright, so they're like nothing to us. But I wonder if we can... Um, I mean, look at all these scrolls. Maybe there's something in here. Cross damage isn't going to do anything. Or some sort of fireball or whatever. Damage willpower? I wouldn't have thought so. Um, yeah, again, damage... Okay, so there's not a lot. No, okay, fine. So we're just going to have to fight our way through them all. This skeleton spam. He's blinding us and stuff like that, but I don't think it's going to have too much of an impact. There he's gone. Oof, that was pretty clutch. Alright, let's not risk it. Oof, okay. So I'll be with the Lich Light right there. Still someone shooting, uh, fighting us or something. That uh, we'll take that because it's spe it's special blood meal. <laughs> that uh, that this won't be a massively long dungeon. This is like laid out perfectly though, isn't it? This is just how. Um, of course, now it's got all these on, but I'm talking about like just how there's like. You get the main hall here, with like bookcases and tables in it, and then you go in and there's, there's a barracks. There's someone down here. You want to attack me? And then there's a shrine which has been defiled and a, a major bedroom. Then you want to get down further. And where the hell have you gone? I'm kind of on the fence about this becoming like a huge dungeon thing. <laughs> oh, sense of humor, that's for sure. Travel Lantern will have that. I'm very keen for the music to stop. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, there's, there's another one. There is ah, another one. Wow, that was... Okay, that was narrow. Alright. Um, for you, then... I got a levitate thing. Um... I think we'll use this. Just make yourself that, that, um... The reflect still on, and I still have my, uh, fortify strength, so... That, com and combined with one of the uh, most powerful weapons in the game... Means that we made short work of him, and of course, it goes deeper, so... So it looks like this poor fort suffered the same fate as the last one. And we've got a 75 lock here, which uh, I'm tempted to take a potion of... Um, this doesn't seem to be a real door. Of um, Detect Key. See if we can find that, but... Because it could be on one of these, couldn't it? Stuff in there, stuff and stuff and things, you know. Let's go back up and have a look at the rest of this uh, this dungeon before we have a look at any of that. So instant freaking distraction. Right in here. Not that. The rest of it's good. Ooh, a Grandmaster's Probe. 
Uh, well, uh, Imperial Templar Bill. I don't think that is really much of a interest to us. Yeah, the, the the expensive shoes and stuff. So this is where the the captain of the guard. This guy probably. Um, scales really. Um, that was his quarters. Interesting. So the chest is open. He was obviously doing pretty well for himself. They spent a lot of time on this, so I'm gonna gonna respect that. I'm gonna bother with those baubles. Another level 75 lock. Just checking he didn't have his key under his pillow. Um you never know, right? Alright, so I'm gonna use a detect key here. See if it's on, on one of these corpses or whatever. Or stashed on a table, something like that. Not this one. But I really love the setup of this. This place has been like thoroughly defiled. And uh, that's just that's just dandy. So um actually. Maybe. Ah! Nice. Yeah. Thought so. Oh, actually, you can have um, these paper lanterns and stuff that I'm picking up then. We've got a 200 gold, everyone. 200 gold. Carrying around someone's ashes for some reason as well, as you do. All right, good. All right, follow me. Probably safer in here than out there now because we've uh, we've cleared in here. He steps are a little bit steep, a poor little rasp, but he's our diminutive little uh, Argonian. All right, so you just wait here. Okay. So, detect. Some keys, if you will. Um. So, I ain't seen one. Well, that's fine. At least now we know, right? Love that. Absolutely love that. That's so bad, but so good. Okay. Make our way down this way. Oh, so we've got like the sixth house this time. We'll get rid of that. If the de de detect key runs out, it's fine. We can just get another one. I'll make another one. guys we can assume are hostile but should we just blunder in there anyway for fun this is the end of you it's interesting how they are just dressed in regular clothes right and the story behind that is oh someone throwing spells at us Okay, that's not good. Um, store health. Probably do another one as well because I believe they stack. We don't have any more reflect unless I make one now, which is a little bit cheesy. But what we could do. Uh, we could turn invisible. <laughs> Until we've healed up. Oh, look at this. 
Okay, nice. So this doesn't go very far down, which is great. damage but of course it's got a million hit points deal with the other one first unless it was pretty sure there's another person one there okay well, get rid of you just for and this is the major threat um it does seem to be as well hoping that we can some absorb health oh boy we might die I want to save it. Yeah, just to, you know, because... What is this... thing that's killing me? So this is working. I think I might... I might use the, uh, the, the invisibility thing. We could use Levitate as well. They really don't like that, do they? And then I can do this, and then I can go into super sneak mode again. Am I going to work? Or this one? Come on! Missed my chance. Trying to get a sneak attack, obviously, because the critical damage can do a lot, of, do quite a bit. It will stop sneaking. Now, now I'm kind of hoping that she recovers her senses a little bit. Something about the, you know, they just give me like a million hit points. Yeah, man. All right, I'll back off for a second. I'm not going to loot this until we've uh, slain our foe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, recovered then. That's great. Not gonna do a lot for us, that. Okay. So, Madala Lerai is slain. So she had a poison mirror robe, a house Dagoth tower shield. Look at that thing. Damage personality, 45 health. That's really nice. A demon helm. And this thing, Nightbane, which was wrecking us. A one-handed long blade, damage health and drain fatigue. We're going to take the things that were unique. Just for the hell of it. The demon hell was actually quite rare as well. And uh, this thing... No, that's not that impressive. And then we'll take all these shiny things. Um, for the topaz, the gold, the Daedric darts. We'll take just because they look pretty. This is a ebony katana. No interest to us whatsoever, sadly. I mean, only an ebony katana, right? I mean, rubbish. Okay, so we're gonna leave that, sadly. <laughs> um, and head off. That's that's about it, really. I think that's about it for this area. So we couldn't unlock those doors. But a very interesting area nonetheless. And I'm. Some dreamers. Alright, so. I guess the uh, thought here is that 
these guys were camped under here and slowly, slowly kind of like um, corrupted the Imperials. This is a door though, I mean, so I don't know. Really what the story with this place is. But we can't get in here. It's unlikely to have something that Rasp uh, would be interested in anyway. Alright, well good. It was good. I enjoyed that. Let's continue on our journey. Oh, and you can carry some stuff for me. Actually, I'm not going to even bother. Drop those. Um, these Daedric darts. This, because uh, that's the medium. Hmm, still not really something we use. We use light, don't we? And the, uh, this is, uh, light. Okay, hmm. But we won't be able to use it, will we? Because, yeah, don't, I don't wear full helmets. Um, I don't even know what that is. Um, probably something important that I've forgotten about. Okay, let's, let's continue. Oh, ah, ugh, sorry, forgive me for this, but don't want the, uh, that particular effect ever again, if it's all the same to you. All right, we're going to continue this direction and own some noobs. That will kill you as well, just for completeness. Actually, doesn't Helm Meat have um, Reflect? Oh, it does, but, I mean, if we check, we've got 44 Helm Meat. So, we don't need any more. All right, so we'll continue on in the same direction. Really enjoyed that, though. I think you will do, um, yeah, poison damage, so... I like how they've they've changed things with the scripts as well, just ever so slightly. Slight um, change of uh, asset, and um, just made them do a different sort of attack, so they don't all do fire damage like they used, used to do. This thing is... Tanky is all hell. Thank you, like so am I. Good block. Oh. Great model. Huh. Floating Gua. Or Aelit, I think. Yeah, so this, I believe... Well, this thing's doing barely anything. Um, is... Orbit's Grave, isn't it? Where you can make the House Tilvani. I need some fatigue. Ow, this thing hurts. House Tilvani Stronghold. Light it. Oh, that's why you were tough as hell. Oh, Magica. Nice. Okay, we've got a we've got a campsite there. That's good. Hopefully, I'm not gonna have to fight another one of those things. Because this could be the camp, right? Oh, what is going on with you? Yes, Outlander. What on earth? What do you want? Um, we can't ask about a lot here. Latest rumors? No. So we'll just ask for further directions. No, what on earth is going on there? I don't think that's a bug or anything. And further along this way, I believe. I think this is a slightly altered bridge. But yeah, we're going to keep going along here because I think I know where I am.
maybe. <laughs> oh. These things are too tanky for their own good. Like, how many times can you stab something before it dies? Honestly. I think uh, I've already got the kill there. Okay, so we've got those, which we might have done. But rest can't really read that well anyway, so. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it's um, very close to around here. Not there. Oh, this dagger's kind of kind of wrecked. Oh, we're kind of naked. <laughs> uh, I wish I hadn't dropped those pants now. Um, what's going on there, Rust? I wasn't worrying them, was I? Yeah, okay, we need to kind of get that fixed. Now, Rust himself, I don't think, would, would care. And obviously, really doesn't care, but... <laughs> Yeah. Amazing these haven't blown away. Might be up here, you know. Okay, we found it. Great. Let's go and buy some pants, Rolly. As the uh, sun sets, we finally find the camp. Oh, they've got little peg shelks. Oh, that's so cute. Well, they're farming them. You know what I mean. Ah, uh, Agua. Marvelous. Stroke. Stroke. What are any servants that you proven your worth to the clan? Well, how do I do that? Find no welcome here, I'm afraid. Oh, come on. Really? Latest rumors? They call them corpus beasts. They come from Red Mountain. Once they were men, and blight storms came. They walk in the storms. They get sick, grow fat, and stupid. Now they wander like mad beasts, killing and eating. Very bad. Very bad. Red Mountain is the great mountain of fire in the center of Vardenfell. The outer slopes are steep and rugged, dotted with surface lava. Beasts and servants of the Dagol Dagoth Devil Dagoth Ur live on Red Mountain. The settled people have built a magical barrier called Ghost Fence to keep the evils inside. Within Ghost Fence, rain never falls and the sun never shines. The only weather is the red and deadly ash blight. Wonderful. Clothing fit? Hmm. Okay, so we found a healer there. No welcome here, but you will accept training and stuff. Argonian, yeah, we know that. All out of treats, Argonian. Aw, but do you like to try? Yes. Everyone freaking loves Tetra. Ring of the Wind. Oh, nice. Okay, because I was really hoping that, that I, I was just going to like say they'd know this anyway, but they do. As I can help you with the Oracle's Riddle. Uh, Namu, or No Name, is a cavern in the wildlands of Sunne uh, Gr Gradan. Its east facing entrance is west northwest from the Daedric Shrine of wherever the hell that is. At the heart of the cavern is a great high chamber, flooded with a central spire rising from the water. The water around the bottom from the spire might be the ring of water in darkness from the Oracle's vision. And indeed, it is. And it's pretty much north of here, so... That's nice. Right, we're gonna... Go and, uh... Be you guys. Although, really, I don't know what I'm looking for, because they're not gonna tell me what I need to know about, um... What do you want, Outlander? Nothing for you. I knew you do. You do like me, though. Oh, God, he really doesn't. <laughs> um, what's your background? You're the Ashgan. Okay, latest rumors. Corpus Beasts going around. 
okay. Um, there is a trader. Um, probably one of these. Don't do that. Buy some pants. Or, yes. um, you know, some... Um, a way to repair my, my current... That's high. Remember you with that. I think this is something to do with the main quest. There's rumors. Yeah, okay. I think we get the idea. Yeah. Okay, so he, he knows about the um, thing that we're looking for. She was one I'm being in. I wish she'd been a bit more. No, I've, I've been in them all. So there's no trader that I can see, unless it's like one of these. Yes, Outlander. You think that someone will want to give uh, poor Rast? There we go. His pants. Get rid of that human heart. No. Get rid of the human eye. <sighs> oh. No. Get rid of that human flesh. Okay. You may speak. Doesn't care at all that we just ate them. All right, so no, no pants. Brilliant. In fact, not much at all. Awesome. Any heather? Okay, one. Um, that's pretty much all I want. Everything else is very much. Uh, regular sort of stuff that we can get anywhere so i'm not really going to bother uh wonderful thanks i was really hoping for some pants you know all right well they're not too friendly so we're not going to stay around here uh we're going to swap our weapon out for one that isn't completely destroyed uh not my blade bang is still fine we're going to go due north because they'll they'll tell us where to go, like literally where to go, not not in a rude way, although probably in a rude way. Um, in order to get rid of us, actually, I think. Okay. I'm gonna rest for an hour. I should have done that. Um, anyway, so it's pretty much north. Just to sum up, we are currently doing this. Then go northwest until I reach a steam pit. See, we knew this anyway, but we got the, r the Ring of the Wind thing anyway. Um, north of the steam pit, hidden from view. So we go north from the camp until we hit steam pit. The thing is there's a freaking like mountain in the way, so as a steam pit. I think it's here. That's it, okay. Not that Russ would be able to read the sign because there is no sign. But you know what I mean. It's fine. It's So, assassination time, and also grabbing this guy's pants. Fine!
I don't know why it's so sporadic with the... Uh... Brilliant. <laughs> Um, with, with the um, sneak attack. Nah, Rusty. Uh, yeah, Rolly can stay out there, it's fine. So we've got Chameleon, about 30%, that's about average really. More than enough. <laughs> stab him, stab him, stab him until he's dead, stab him. Good. I like those ones better. Come on. Have we got a shirt on? No, we haven't. Yeah, I like, I like the sort of all black ensemble thing. Um, do it. Yeah, well, we're going to take all this out, we? That's just how it works. Take all that. Take that. Take that. Um, swift swim. Yeah, take everything. Frost, okay, I won't take that. Restore strength. Yeah, just grab it now. Might taste good. Don't know. Oh, plunging attack. Here we go. Oh, almost. Okay, we've been discovered. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. Oh boy, this is this is gonna be pretty tough actually, I think. We're not good at groups. Gonna try and buff as buff up as much as possible. We've got a ring of ice storm. I think I will try and use as well. For some reason it is not wanting to work. Maybe it is, it's just rubbish. Alright, we'll need some restore. I don't know how we're having these, by the way. 45 health. Sorry, strength. 45 personality. Magicka. Forty five health. Sure. And we can, uh, we've got like a lot of things here, but. Maybe one of these guys is the one that we need to kill. That's a lot of magicka. Sure, that guy's got stuck on the stairs, but I'm going to take it. <laughs> if we take this, what's it going to do to our Magicka? Because currently our Magicka is 32 out of 260. Now suddenly it's 154 out of uh, 280. Uh, 260 myself. Let's go. More magicka, good. Temporary magicka, but we're going to use it. Let's try and get some... Okay, good. Don't really know what else to cast on him. That works. Oh, it does... 
Okay, we did a lot of damage when it actually passed, but it wasn't our magicka anyway, if you like. He's dead. Okay, that was the one we had to kill. That's him. Slain according to the traditional and honorable doctrine of the Mori Tong. None dared report my actions. Well, who's going to do that anyway? Um, He's got the black uh, clothes as well. But yeah, nothing much interesting interest there. Hmm, that's just annoying. <laughs> One gold. And then 55 in a sack. I thought they were just about to put it in. Someone forgot. Um, so do we need any armor? We've got pauldrons. What about... Oh, you don't have any greaves anyway. Wait, pardons? Oh yeah, Greaves. We've got gloves instead, haven't we? Fortify personality and fortify luck. Which I think works better for us. Um, how's this looking? Okay, that's fine. Don't use the boots. Okay. So we've we've got a, a bit of armor back on. Resist Magica? Yeah, that's pretty good. Night eye. All that now. We'll never be able to find it though. It's a thing. Way. Oh, light works as well. Oh yeah, I, I regret this now. <laughs> I regret it. Um, we still have not going to use it. Very bright, very much. Yeah. Well, at least we'll see everything now. Nice. Look how much it lights as well. Like, this is exceptionally bright. Okay, we can get rid of that. Yeah, I should have. Oops, I should have just used the uh, night eye. There's like no shadows anywhere, it's just everything is just blindingly bright. Which is handy, because it's night time. Look how far this goes. <laughs> That's immense. Uh, Alright, I'm going to call it there. Um, when we return, this, this effect should hopefully have disappeared. Um, we're going to have a rest, and we are, um, not sure, I'll just rest now. Uh, going to head north to the, to the, um, Cavern of the Wind. So, until then, everybody, I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching, and toodaloo.